Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about how to add a theme to Blender or change your theme. And it's fairly easy to do if you go to um, your file and go to user preferences and go over to this area right here, themes. You can actually change all the different uh, properties and colors of things. In fact, you can really make it look kind of wild if you wanted to. But if you don't want to take the time to play around with all this, another thing that you can do is search the internet for other themes that are available. So just to give you an example, I did a search on the internet for Blender themes and I ended up going to blendswap.com. And if you're not familiar with Blendswap, it's a really nice website where it's really a, a repository of blend files and help files for Blender for Blender users and it's all free. Um, any kind of licensing that is on the files will be shown with the files. So check it out. Um, in order to download something, uh, you can get a free account which allows you uh, so much megabytes to download per month or you can actually get the paid account. So what you do is just search for what you're looking for. In this case, I search for Blender themes and I came up with quite a few. I actually found this rainy day theme here, which I thought looked pretty cool. I found a couple actually that looked pretty cool and downloaded them. So all you do is just go here, click this button to download and it'll tell you what the license is for it. And this one in particular, you should give the author credit for this blend. So I will actually give credit. This one actually is done by Big Mouse, which is right there. And um, so once you've downloaded your theme, uh, these usually come in a zip file. So you want to extract it. And then you go back into Blender and go to File, User Preferences, go back to your themes, and then come down here to Install Theme and then you find the theme that you saved. In this case, I saved right here. And there's actually three different um, variations of this theme here. And I decided that I liked the first one here. So just choose that and choose Install Theme. And then once you've installed it, you can see already that it's uh, changed. And I'm gonna go ahead and save user settings and close this box out. And this is the theme. So, yeah, I thought this theme was pretty cool, so I'm going to probably use it for a little while and check it out. And so if you do use one of these, I mean, some of them can be very hard on the eyes. Uh, some of them can be a little bit too dull. If you find the case where you want to go back and change it back to the default, just go back to User Preferences and Themes, and then you can choose Reset to Default Theme, save your user settings, close it up, and there you go. You're back to the normal Blender look. So if you get kind of bored with the theme that you're using and you just want a little bit of a change, you can grab one of those themes and make Blender look like a completely different program or a brand new program again. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. This has been Dan Nobles for Blender for Noobs. Please subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next video.